Hello everyone, I'm Divya, your math facilitator, and I'm here with the last chapter, real numbers. First in the textbook, but last in our gunshot video. So these are most important videos which I'm giving you. So maximum questions which you can expect in your board paper are these questions. So first model is proof of irrational number. They will ask you, they will either ask you prove that root 3 is irrational, root 5 is irrational, root 7 is irrational, or they will ask you prove that 2 root 3 is irrational so then also it is the same answer you will write second model the decimal expansion of the rational number 2 power 4 by 5 square will terminate after how many places so always remember whatever is the power of the denominator now out of 2 and 5 suppose i have 3 square by 2 power 5 into 5 power 2 so whatever is the lowest power so those many decimal places you will have okay and see the next one this is the uh, condition given to you, you have to prove that 2 log x plus y. So, when I was teaching you Abhyasa Deepika questions, there I told you uh, pre final practice sessions, there I told you 2 log x plus y means it is x plus y whole square, then you will apply a log to it. So, this is what you are doing. So, x plus y whole square identity, you check, you will have x square plus y square plus 2xy. So, plus 2xy is missing. So, that 2xy you will add on both the sides. Okay, so definitely when you add, so plus 2xy, already 7xy you have in your RHS, plus 2xy means 9xy, so total 9xy, 9 is nothing but 3 square, so 3 square you can write it as 2 log 3, so everything is picture clear, even without doing you can just visualize the answer before you do, okay, so these models are very important, this third model from logarithms, also from logarithms they will ask you short questions like, uh, expand the following logarithm log uh, 256 expanded or they may ask you uh, solve solve the lo logarithm log 4 cube into log x into log y so solving them that means log a into log log b okay so log a plus b so something like that so on the simple identities you should be able to solve the logarithms third model is again on decimal expansions so whenever you see the denominator of any rational number if it if it has two or five then it is terminating if it doesn't have if along with two and five also if it has any other number then it is non-terminating so remember in the denominator if you have two and five firstly you should simplify the given uh, fraction rational number after simplifying when it is in its lowest form that means no more cancellations are possible then then you check the denominator if in the denominator two or five or two and five if anything is there two or five or two and five together if they are there also it is terminating if you have any other number along with two and five any other number then it is non-terminating okay so only 2 and 5 are allowed then they are terminating if any other number is there they are non-terminating so these are the only moral questions from chapter number one which i want you to practice seriously okay other than this yes 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 other than this you have one more important question finding hcf using euclid's division lemma finding hcf of say 20 and 46 using euclid's division lemma simple division so bigger number you will write as a dividend and small number as a divisor then divide it okay and then divide it again okay so first step till here you will write as the first step then from here will be the second step okay so six six three is a 18 again you will get a two again from here this will be the third step okay so whatever answer you are getting last that is the hcf so this way you can find the hcf this this is what you will do in the rough work. In the main sheet, you will write 46 equal to 20 into 2 plus 6. Then 20, 20 um, is equal to 6 into 3 plus 2. Then 6 equal to 2 into 3. So plus 0. So wherever you are getting plus 0, when reminder is 0. So the divisor here, whatever you are taking, that is the HCF. So these are the model questions, only model questions I can say now, which you can expect in your board exam from chapter number 1. So practicing one question of one model takes hardly any time. So please do practice these questions today itself because tomorrow you are going to have part B, more than 100 questions revision. And also it's going to be a marathon session, so stay tuned and also you will have a mock test in the evening okay so bye bye people take care do share these sessions with all your friends and keep practicing